Hello, this is Jacob from Mortgage Coach Software Support. This video is to show you how to create video for your Edge presentations. Uh, so first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to plug in your webcam. Um, if you don't have a webcam, you'll need to purchase one to be able to include video in your presentation. However, you can do audio only presentations if you just have a microphone. In that case, plug in either or and uh, you're ready to get started. Now when you're ready to create a video for, uh, for any one of your presentations, and in this one in particular I'm doing a rent versus own setup, um, what you do is you first generate the link here. This is going to reveal the short link for you and then once you have that short link you can actually send this out to your clients but uh, for right now we're going to add video to it first. So in order to do that click the add audio video button. This is going to bring up a, uh, another preview window so it's kind of like what you would have seen before if you hit the preview button. The difference on this screen is that you have a record message button down at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my webcam real quick. If you've not plugged it in yet, Windows actually installs some drivers for you. So uh, it's, it's not a problem if you see that little message at the bottom right of the screen saying it's installing drivers. It should do it automatically for you and it'll recognize it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so you can see it starting to install right here. It's installing a device driver for my camera. And all I did was basically just plug it into the back of my computer. And then when that's all done installing the device driver, then you can go ahead and proceed on to recording. Okay, so now that I've got my, uh, my webcam plugged in, in my Edge report here, I need to make sure that my flash settings are recognizing the appropriate devices. To do this, right-click anywhere on the report window here and hit Settings. Now there's going to be a couple of different settings that you can, uh, you can actually set in here. The first one is hardware acceleration. It's checked by default. You can go ahead and leave this checked. Uh, if you've got a computer that's older than about maybe six or seven years old, uh, then you probably want to uncheck this box. It's going to make your video stream look a little bit better. But for most newer computers, go ahead and leave this one checked. The second tab is your privacy settings. Uh, usually I would advise hitting allow and then remember, otherwise it's going to ask you every single time you try to record whether you want to allow the, the device to be used for this process. So go ahead and check allow and remember. Now for the, uh, the folder storage, you can actually tell uh, Flash how much it wants to use of your hard drive to store local information. Now I usually use mine at unlimited and the reason is it stores up to about two megabytes of data on your computer which is a very small amount of data but it does help the video run a little bit faster because it allows it to cache. So usually I would recommend boosting this all the way to the max. Now microphone and webcam settings. Now you'll notice that if you have a microphone plugged in and you're speaking you'll see this meter will be bouncing here. If it's not bouncing when you're speaking it means you might have the wrong device selected. In order to select the correct one Hit the drop down menu here and you'll see that it shows you all the different devices that are installed on your computer. Make sure and select the appropriate one. I've plugged in my live cam so that's definitely the one I want to use. And then you can go ahead and proceed onto the webcam settings. Remember this was just microphone. If you have one microphone and one webcam plugged in you can actually use uh, the mic for one setting and the webcam for the other. So in case your webcam has kind of a subpar mic in it you can do it that way as well. For the webcam settings, uh, we've got our Microsoft LiveCam is selected here. Now, if you've ever installed something like Google Talk or an Instant Messenger program, you might actually have another listing in here. So if your video isn't working when you first try this, try coming back into this setting and make sure that the appropriate video device is selected. Uh, like I said, you'll see Google Talk in here, you might see Skype, you might see AIM, a couple others. Uh, anything that has video conferencing in it has probably used your, your camera at one point or another, which would mean it would be listed here. So make sure the right one is selected and you're ready to go. So go ahead and hit close there and the next uh, step here is going to be just recording your message. So hit record message and then you'll see yourself pop up on the screen there. Go ahead and adjust your video camera so it's appropriate. and. Uh, Make sure you've got a background that's not too busy. Uh, you definitely don't want a whole lot of light shining in behind you because it's going to make it look a little funny on the video. But uh, practice putting something up behind the web camera, like a bullet point list or something, so that you don't have to look away from the cam when you're speaking. Uh, you want to make sure and engage your client's attention when you're speaking to them through the webcam because if you're looking at your computer the entire time, this is what they're going to see. So make sure and focus on the webcam when you're doing this. Turn off your phone, turn off your, uh, your pager if you've got one. Disable your email pop-ups because you don't want them popping into your screen. Um, any noises that you know are coming from your office, shut the door and lock it. But uh, when you're ready to record, go ahead and hit the record button right here. It'll start recording. Now um, you'll see it'll flash recording here while it's recording. Now when you, when you want to pause, you can always hit the pause button. 
and it will pause the recording and you can still append more video to it. And you can only do this in the same session. So for instance, had I already recorded a snippet of video and I wanted to come back and append more to it, I could not do that. It would actually overwrite the original. So if I'm still in the same recording session, I can go ahead and I can start recording, I can pause it, and then I can resume recording. Now when you're done recording, hit the stop button, and this is actually already appended to your report. So when you're ready to send this out, close that recording window. Well, let's stay on that page though. Okay, close that recording window here. And then come back to your screen here. Now this is the link that you actually want to copy and send to your client. This is the short link and it has all the tracking features enabled. So you can right click on this and hit copy. And then you can paste it into a new email going to your client and uh, they'll see both your video and your presentation. Now if you ever need to come back in and delete a video, you can always come back to the same area, hit add audio and video again. It'll bring up the video recorder. You can hit record message. You'll see your face in there. Then hit the delete button, the red X on the right here. Once you do that and hit yes, your video will be removed from the presentation and you'll, you'll basically just have a presentation here. So if you send that same link, it won't have a video to it. So if you have any questions about this, do go ahead and give us an email over at support at mortgagecoach.com. We'd be happy to help you out further. Thank you much. Bye-bye.